Hey guys, welcome back to the Gamers Hall. I'm Chris, and today I'm here to talk to you about another Rules Lawyer video. So today I'm going to talk about how Warcaster works when you're using a polearm. If you have Warcaster and you're using a weapon with reach, if they step out of your 10 foot into 15, you get an opportunity attack on them. If they're in your 5 foot and they move to your 10 foot because you have a reach weapon, typically you wouldn't get an opportunity attack on them, but since you have Warcaster, you would get an opportunity uh, attack with them with your hand with an unarmed strike. So if you get an unarmed strike attack, opportunity attack on them, when they leave your five foot to go to 10, since you have Warcaster, you can replace that with Booming Blade, Green Flame Blade, Shocking Grasp, or some other cantrip. Uh, most people are probably going to use Booming Blade because then they're trying to run away, so when you hit them, it activates the, the boom. For those of you guys who are out there going to try and argue this one, let me tell you how this works. Okay, Warcaster makes it to where when a hostile creature's movement provokes an opportunity attack from you, you can use your reaction to cast a spell at the creature rather than making an opportunity attack. The spell must have a casting time of one action and must target only that creature. For instance, if you cast a magic missile at that person, all of the magic missiles have to go at that person. I found one of Jeremy Crawford's tweets, If you have more than one reach, a foe provokes an opportunity attack when it leaves any of them. Now the thing that they were talking about for this instance was if you had a whip and a dagger in one hand. So if you leave the five foot to 10 foot, then you would op the opportunity attack would have to go towards the dagger. And if you leave the 10 foot to go to 15, then the whip is the one that would get the opportunity attack. But if you have a pole arm or just a reach weapon, it doesn't matter. If you have a reach weapon, then whenever somebody leaves your five foot to go to 10 foot, technically you would get an opportunity attack with your hand, which since, you know, if more than one reach weapon, a foe provokes an opportunity attack when it leaves any of them. Instead of using your fist to attack, you're just replacing that with a cantrip from your Warcaster, which is what makes this legal. Now, one of the things about this is, yeah, you can't, if you have a pole arm, you can't booming blade somebody 10 feet away. You can just make a basic attack, but booming blade specifically has a range of five feet in its description so now if somebody leaves you replace that opportunity attack the the fist attack with the booming blade you hit them with your pole arm at five feet and now if they try to move outside of that the booming blade kicks in but the great thing about this is i mean you could switch up with anything it doesn't really matter so the great thing is, is if you have a reach weapon and you have warcaster your threat range is five feet and 10 feet. So anyone who moves from five to 10, 10 to 15, they provoke an opportunity attack from either of those. And with Warcaster, you can switch it out and do whatever. So like that's kind of the cool thing about that. Is this something that's happened to you guys before? Is this something y'all have come across? Uh, has anybody made a build like this that uh, utilized it? Or is this something that you wouldn't allow at your table? Uh, because it's not in the book, it's just a tweet from Jeremy Crawford. And Jeremy Crawford has stated that all of his tweets are, you can take them as a, as a rule, but you don't have to if you don't want to, because the DMs ultimately decide how they want to run the game. Uh, but it's just rules as written. So if it's something you guys come across, put it in the, the comments. Uh, let me know if you guys think that it really, you guys would allow it or wouldn't allow it uh just let me know until then guys keep having fun with your gaming table